Hi everyone and welcome to Chaz's Lifestyle. Today I'm going to show you how I make these homemade fluffy red velvet waffles. Stay tuned. First, I will start on my glaze. Okay, so for my glaze, I will be using some softened cream cheese as well as some softened unsalted buttercream. And you wanna whip that together very well. You can also use a spatula if needed. Next, I'm gonna add in my powdered sugar in increments, okay? So we're gonna start with about a half. And you wanna mix that together really well until everything is fully incorporated. And the key for a glaze is to make sure your cream cheese and your butter is softened. If it's not softened, it will not come out smooth and creamy like you will see towards the end. Next, I will be adding in some vanilla extract and some heavy cream. This is going to make the consistency perfect, okay? You can also add in more heavy cream as needed depending on the consistency you like. So we're going to cover that up and sit it to the side. Okay, so next I will be working on the waffle batter. So here I have some flour I will be sifting and I'm also going to sift some of that cocoa powder. So we'll go ahead and do that. Next, I will be adding in some baking powder as well as granulated sugar and a pinch of salt. Mix that very well, okay? And then we're gonna put that to the side and we're going to work on the rest of the batter. So here I have some heavy cream. You can use buttermilk, milk, light cream, half and half. Here I have heavy cream. Next, I'm gonna add in my room temperature melted butter. I'm using unsalted buttercream and then I will add in two large eggs. After that, whisk at all that together. I do recommend add the, adding in the red food coloring here. I'm taking the liquid and adding it to the dry batter. Okay, so we're gonna mix that very well. If you have a hand mixer, I do suggest using that too. It will make it a little bit easier on you. So here I'm adding in the red food coloring now and I'm just mixing it, mixing it in and scraping up the sides of those bowls to ensure I have everything incorporated very well. But like I said, it will be easier just to add the red food coloring to the liquid, okay, before adding it all in together. So sit that to the side and I have my preheated waffle um, maker. So here I'm adding in a little oil. You can add in um, nonstick cooking spray as well. We're gonna start by taking one cup of the red velvet waffle batter and we are gonna make that for about three to four minutes until it says done, really to your preference. And I'm just gonna continue on doing that for all of the uh, batter that I have. So this makes about four waffles. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. My favorite part, time for the taste test. And y'all know it was good, okay? <laughs> if you decide to recreate this recipe, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Chaz's Cuisine Story.